بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد We are fortunate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this Iman, this Deen of Islam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us, Udkhulu fi silmi kafa. If you want to be a Muslim, do it properly. Do such a good job of it. Wala tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. That when you die in also, you die a Muslim, you die in Iman, you die with the kalima on your tongue. As for those who don't enter into Islam completely, Allah SWT is questioning, أَفَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِبَعْضِ الْكِتَابِ وَتَكْفُرُونَ بِبَعْضِ Are you bringing Iman on the kitab, on the book, when it suits you, when the time is right, when the situation is right, when you feel there's a need to obey Allah? And when there's a need to break the command of Allah, then you decide, okay, now it's convenient, there's a need, Allah is Ghafoor or Rahim. Let me do what I feel I need to do. But the recompense is khizyun fil hayat dunya. That Allah will disgrace this person in dunya. And in akhirat ashaddul adab. The circumstances are drastic and devastating. So Allah have said that one is deen because we know who Allah is, we have recognized who Allah is. And when a person is like recognized the Amir, the commander, we will recognize the command. So the commander, my father has instructed me to do something. Command has come from my father. I recognize him as my father. I will comply. So based on the commander, Will the command be fulfilled? So when a person is recognized Allah, and we don't speak so much about Allah, we don't give dawah to Allah, we don't give dawah to the uh, awamir of Allah, effort is not on, made on this, so the azmat and the greatness of Allah is not in a person's heart, and that's where تُؤْمِنُونَ بِبَعْضِ الْكِتَابِ وَتَكْفُرُونَ بِبَعْضِ a person's deen is consequential. A person's deen is circumstantial. Circumstantial five situations. Number one, zaman, according to the time. Number two, makan, according to the place. Number three, shakhs, according to the person. Number four, hal, according to the situation. And number five, ada. That routine. Since we have just entered the face of Mubarak month of Ramadan, we fall under category number one of Zaman, the time. Based on the change of time, does a person become Dindar? Does he become religious? And we will get into details of that, but coming back to the original point, why why would one's deen be circumstantial, be based on the situation? Why? Because he is not recognized the Amir. Ayaz was most beloved to the king. The courtiers, the ministers were jealous of Ayaz. To prove his genuity, the king put everybody to test. He asked for a valuable pearl from his treasures to be brought. He called all the ministers and gave each minister that pearl and commanded him break the pearl. Each one of them's reply was, O king, this pearl is too valuable to destroy. We cannot bear to see such a valuable treasure from your kingdom be destroyed. We cannot do it. Eventually, after the ministers were exhausted, the king gave the pearl to Ayaz and upon instruction, he immediately broke it. The ministers upset with the actions of Ayaz voiced their opinion to the king that, see king, you have revered him, 
You have given him honor and status, and this is what he thinks of your treasure. This is how he treats your valuables. So the king said, ask Ayaz. Ayaz was asked, and his reply was, O oh king, I did not look at the pearl, but I looked at your command. So when we know the importance of the Amir, the commander, we will fulfill the command. The sign that we know Allah, we have recognized Allah, we understand that Allah is our King, Nourisher, Sustainer, Provider. And we have to obey Allah according to the amount of greatness and azmat that we have of Allah while we comply with His Awamir. So it may be a sin, a small guna, a sign that a person has the greatness of Allah is that every type of disobedience affects him. So he will stay away from all types of guna. And if it happens, Kullu Bani Adam on every individual on this earth makes errors. But the best of you is Atawa. Those people that make Tawbah and repent at that opportunity when you commit a guna. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? What wrong did I do? So the uh, ulama explained, لا تنظر إلى صغر الذنب ولكن انظر إلى من عسيت Don't look how small the guna is, but look how great the one who you are disobeying is. No, oh, it's just uh, guna is sagira. Some person was in, in front of a buzru and he was told to do something, so he said, Sunnat ye hai. It is only Sunnah. It's just a Sunnah. So the buzru said, Paato sayyya lakin lehja kufriya. Your statement is correct, but the way you said it is kufr. It is rejecting the Sunnah. The Sahaba practice on Sunnah because it was Sunnah. We don't practice on Sunnah because it is Sunnah. So it's tantamount to a person saying, you know, I'm genuine, I'm a Muslim, I'm a person of Iman. Just to understand this example, there was a man who landed on a flight, long distance flight. He went to the carousel, he searched for his goods, his bags, he didn't find it. He went to the complaint department, baggage claims. And he lodged a complaint. So the lady at the counter said that, Sir, do not worry at all. All our staff are very competent. They know exactly what they are doing. And then she said, I need to take down some details. Can you tell me, please, has your plane landed? Has your plane landed? So we competent, we competent. But our actions display incompetence. So for example, in Ramadan, in the olden days, people used to close their TV, put it away. Nowadays with Netflix and all these series, am I just temporarily suspending guna? Just temporarily suspending guna to do it after Ramadan. That's a sign that there's no toba. Because we're just temporarily suspending guna. Some gunas people, tahsibu hayin. You think so, it's a guna, it's a small son, but end Allahi Azim. This action which you think so minute and insignificant is great in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, ulama explain a man who shaves his beard while he's reading tahajjud salah, while he's making tilawat of Quran, while he's making dua, while he's reading salah in sajda close to Allah, the farishtas writing, he's a sinner. He's a disobedient servant of Allah. Perpetually 24 hours of the day is getting a guna. Likewise, ulama explain a person who takes a picture of themselves. It's amongst the hadith and category of taswir. As long as that picture is there in the world, till qiyamah, as long as it's there, while he's alive, he's doing hajj, he's doing umrah, he's doing whatever action, a sin is being guna, is being written all the time. Farishtas are writing guna. We did 10, 20, 50, all the pictures, each, each image is a guna. 
Women generally put on a scarf, put on hijab in Ramadan. But with the intention of after Ramadan, we're going to take it out. Obviously now with the lockdown, certain things people are not particular about, but we have to be cognizant and understand the point. That if the greatness of Allah was in my heart, I, I will not have the guts to have one proof against me in front of Allah on the day of Qiyamah. I will not have the guts when Anbiya alayhimu salatu wassalam will be saying, Nafsi, Nafsi. And these were chosen servants of Allah. And they will be saying, What about me? What about me? What will happen to me? Then how can we have the guts and justify? One Buzruk was walking and from a balcony somebody threw ash. And his murids were with him. They became upset and they looked up at the person. He fell in sajda. He fell in sajda. They wanted to take retribution. Obviously the person didn't see people walking or maybe he wasn't careful enough. But the Buzruk fell in sajda and he murids afterwards asked him, Sheikh, we never understood your action. So he said, Allah threw ash on me. I made shukr to Allah that he only threw ash on me. Otherwise my amal, I don't know if Allah would have sent bolts of lightning. Allah would have commanded the earth to swallow me. These were pious servants of Allah and this was their reaction. What is tizar, what tiyan, what khawf of Allah did they have that prompted them to react like this? Now, there is an official TVs, etc. Like in the olden days, call it cell phone. Cell phone is another TV. Do I take a cloth? Do I cover that cell phone? Do I switch it off? Do I say, Yalla, I make toba. Again, let's check ourselves. There was a, a youngster, a child, went to the mother and said, Oh, Ami, Ami, I see you getting gray hair. So generally, we always like to attribute wrongs to everybody else. The story of the Buzruk, he attributed to himself. So she said, yeah, oh my child, it's because of you I got gray hair. You giving me all the gray hair. So the child said, oh, Ami, now I understand why Nani, my grandmother, got so much gray hair. Now I can understand why she got so much gray hair. So we need to understand. The Amir, the command, if we don't have the Azmat of the commander, Allah, we will not understand the Amr. We will not fulfill the Amr. And a sign of that is, Guna will be easy. Guna, let me explain, for a, a, a Munafik, a hypocrite, Guna, even if it is like a fly, that he just wipes it off. For a munafik, a hypocrite is like that. And for a believer, it's like a boulder over his head. So how much am I suspending my guna or I made sincere toba? That's what we need to check ourselves. Mashallah, we increase in amal, but to, to show Allah we are genuine. There was riots. A, a, a girl took refuge in the masjid. In those days, people used to stay in the masjid. There was one student of deen. She asked permission that there is a situation now and I need a refuge for the evening. So he said, he was very skeptical looking at the situation. He said, okay, oh, on this situation and circumstance only, will I give you permission? As soon as morning breaks, you need to leave. So she agreed. In the morning when she was leaving, she said, I have one request. And she, he asked her what it was. She said, in the entire night, I noticed you putting your hand on a candle and then taking your hand away. What is the wisdom of this? So he said, had you not asked, I would have not, uh, if and you had not seen what had happened, I would have not answered your question. But Shaitan came to me the entire night telling me that you are alone with this beautiful young girl. There's an opportunity. Here is an opportunity. That WhatsApp message, that hi, that hello from a stranger, that wink, that emoji, that uh, message in your face group, 
that secret admirer, that poem, that, 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 the list is endless. Shaitan came to me. I put my hand on the fire, telling myself, if your body cannot handle the lightest fires of this world, if you commit this guna, how will you ever handle the tormenting, blazing fire of Jahannam? The girl, the girl went home. She was from a very wealthy family. She informed her parents of the situation and Allah made their nikah. Allah made their nikah. So let us not just make istighfar, say the words of Toba, temporarily suspend guna. The first point was in this time where deen, there's five points, we'll go through it inshallah, where deen is circumstantial. Let it not be that in this current time of Ramadan, in this time of halat and conditions, we temporarily suspend guna. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me and you tawfiq of making amal. Wa akhiru da'awana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.